Hey, Chris Dungan here, founder of Conscious Education and the Conscious Education Podcast, and I'm thrilled to be sharing with you some of the lessons I've learned uh, literally coaching over 30,000 people in the last uh, four years. Four years ago, we launched Magnetic Mind. Uh, the Magnetic Mind certification came next, and then Superconscious Mastery, followed by my book, You're Not Broken. And, and through all of that, we had a lot of people come to us for coaching on how to take their life to the next level. And, and really, they had one problem. And their one problem was they were trying to create an outcome for years, a result, maybe a healing, or maybe more money, or maybe a better relationship, or, or a healthier body, or uh, trying to find their purpose in life. They've been trying to go for something. And at times, it felt like they were in momentum and at times it felt like they weren't and the challenge isn't that these people are completely unsuccessful typically there's a couple of areas in life that are going quite well uh, but there's areas in life that they were they were really focused on you know they wanted to make more money or they had a health crisis that just kept on uh, repeating itself or they just couldn't seem to lose the weight they wanted or their relationships always seemed to fall apart they, they had this one area and and the challenge that the these people had was why why is it why does this keep happening they'd see other people being able to be successful in that area and, and these people they're not unmotivated you know they they would uh, read books and they would apply themselves and they would take action Action. they had motivation they had desire but for some reason they would always find themselves you know back to where they started so look uh, I came up with uh, some, some 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 real big learnings throughout helping a huge amount of people be able to finally achieve in those areas so the first mistake is people working from what I call the wrong structure Everything in life has a structure. This computer has a structure that I'm speaking on. Uh, you're a structure. I'm a structure. Water is a structure. A mountain is a structure. A, uh, you know, a skyscraper is a structure. A, a structure is is a uh, one or more points of information um, working together. One or more points of information working together. And so, in fact, me speaking to you right now, we're actually in a structure where I'm teaching, you're listening. So, uh, it, everything's in a structure now. When you're in a structure with your result that you are trying to uh, resolve something that's not right, uh, typically what happens is the, the structure ends up in oscillation. And that's because a, a person, and, and I'll draw it out on my board, a person ends up putting power into two places. And, and this is one of the biggest problems with personal development and one of the biggest problems uh, uh, with, with people in the self-help industry and healing is that they're in the wrong structure. Okay, so... Normally, there's two points of information. There's a, a current reality and then uh, a desired reality. And most of the time, people want to go from a, a current reality that they they wish was was different to a desired reality that they think is better. And uh, and that's a very very common setup. <laughs> The, the problem is, is that they didn't just move to that new reality with ease and flow and, and create like they would like to. Instead, they would move towards it and then somehow get derailed or distracted and end up going for something else only to uh, fool themselves that they were actually going for what they wanted and, uh, and then end up where they started again only to go on the same journey. And, and this was this happened to me and many, many, many of my clients realized that that structure is actually the missing piece. And so first off, let's describe the, the wrong structure. So, so the wrong structure is when you decide that there's a there's a future that is better and you say that makes the now worse. And you try to move this current reality, you try to move it. See, when you try to move it, what you've done is you've created two focus points. And, and, and your consciousness creates, okay? Your consciousness uh, creates, your active focus creates. So you say, this is a problem, this is what I don't want, and this is what I do want. And by doing that, your, your brain literally holds two pieces of information, okay? Now, what, what happens is, is you also have an identity. Your identity is, is, a, is a part of you that has a name. Uh, it also has, has feelings, it has automatic processing systems. It's made up of self-conscious, unconscious, and superconscious. Your identity typically wants to keep things the same, okay? So your, your identity is, is the aspect of you that quite, is quite happy with, with how you are and quite happy with what it is you've been able to do because you know you're alive and functioning and these sort of things. And so your identity is here. Your identity doesn't want to change. And so, so what, what this setup does is you basically say to your identity that we want to go to this new place over here and we have no idea how it's going to be. All we know is it's going to be different. And there's going to be different things. Maybe there's more money or maybe there's a different relationship or maybe there's a there's a, a different way that you're relating to the world. It's just different. The identity really doesn't like this. It goes, well, it's going to be 
better, but how do we really know it's better? What, what's really going on? So the identity causes the conflict because since the identity doesn't know how it's going to be, all as it knows is that it's not the way it is now. And, and structure is the missing piece because what happens is as you start moving, here you are here, and as you move this way towards this, this new, better reality, more money, uh, better relationships, better purpose, you know, all these things, your identity starts to, to freak out. And it says, this is going to be different. I don't know if this is survivable. I don't know if this is safe. And how do you know it freaks out? Because you get weird things. You get doubt, uncertainty, fears, worries, judgments. All of these get popped into your awareness. And it doesn't make sense. I mean, why should you have? Why should you be worried of whether uh, the love is going to last? I mean, it's better off going. Why would you worry whether or not the business is going to be successful? Of course, you can just do another one. And and, and this this idea that <laughs> that it's going to be better is where it all starts from. So so typically, what happens is as you move towards that, your identity throws up some sort of uh, negative feeling. And this, this negative feeling catches the uh, attention of your unconscious and then you go to solve it. So instead of just easily moving to where you want, you get caught in this idea that is, there's something that you need to fix and then you race down trying to fix it. Okay. And when I say fix it, what I mean is, is you say, well, I, I've got to heal my money beliefs or I must, uh, you know, I must work harder or I must do it. There's something that you decide you need to change about yourself. And so what happens is instead of just flowing to where you want, because you're in the wrong structure, you, you're, you look like this. You go from here, you move a little bit to here, but you end up coming down here to fix or improve yourself. And then all that does is lead you back to, to this exact same place that you started. And, and this is what I mean by structure. And if you've ever found yourself on this with a diet or in a relationship or with money, where you're going for something, get caught in what you need to fix or improve, go, go down and try to fix it, only to find yourself in the exact same place, then this is the structure that you're in. And this structure, is one that will catch you and cause you to oscillate for a very, very long time. And it's the biggest mistake I see people make. How is this mistake made? This mistake is made by starting out by looking at what is wrong. That is the whole problem with this. You first off look and you say, this is what is wrong that I need to fix. And that is where the whole thing starts from. Instead, there is a different way to be. And the different way to be is to realize that you're actually bigger than the current moment or the future moment. And, and this is, I guess it's quite a hard thing to explain, but it's actually why the secret or law of attraction or, or even just normal goal setting doesn't work for most people. It's because most people's identity is in opposition to the end result that they actually want to achieve. So the identity causes all this conflict. You see, the identity is the problem. But if you try to go and fix the identity, all you do is teach it that there's something wrong with it. So it looks for more problems. So it becomes this, this crazy paradigm where the, the identity in the current reality is not equal to the identity in the future reality. And so the, the easy assumption is, well, I need to go fix or improve or heal the, the, the current identity. However, as soon as you try to do that, you just teach it that it's broken and that it needs fixing. The only alternative is to realize you already are it. Okay, so you still have a current reality and you still have a desired reality that you want to get to. But instead of your identity believing that over here is better or different, instead of that, instead of it thinking it's better or different, instead of that, what you do is you take the identity and you have it feel exactly the same in the current reality or in the desired reality. What I mean by that is in order for me to shift from, you know, making uh, $100,000 in my business to a million, to 10, to now 20 million. I couldn't do that by thinking, oh, wow, it's going to be so different when I make 10. It's going to be so different when I make 20. It's going to be so, I couldn't do that. And instead, what I had to realize is I'm already able to have everything now. 
I'm already it. As soon as you realize and can accept completely that you're a source energy and you already are it, you already are all of it, as soon as you can accept that, that you're actually bigger, <laughs> your identity is actually bigger than the current reality and the desired reality, it's both of those and it's every other random reality. You know, it, it, it's bigger than all of those. None of those have the power. As soon as you make this adjustment, and, and instead of it having to be a have to, your, your creations are a game because you're bigger. It, was, it just becomes a game. When you realize that you are source, or as we call it, you know, super conscious, uh, and then creating a multi million dollar business is just a game, just a fun thing you're engaging with, just like, you know, playing a game of football. It's just a fun game you're engaging with or creating a new healthy body. It's just a fun game you're engaging with. When you engage it, you already are it. There is no problem. You know, there is no uh, disease. There is no, uh, you know, challenge. We've had some amazing transformations from people regaining their eyesight to, you know, you know and, and I probably shouldn't talk about them all because people are going to think that these are promises or whatever, but, but people have messaged me and they've said, hey, you know, I had a tumor and then I went into the surgeon's table and when they opened me up, the tumor was not there. And people said, I you know, had diabetes, now I don't and I can see again. I got, people tell me about this all the time or how their, their money has 10 x and, and every time they say the same thing, it didn't change anything because I'd already arrived that I was completely whole and completely everything now. And, and so this is mistake number one, is people live in a structure where they give the power to, to, this, to this end result or this way it's gonna be, and they say, it's gonna be different, rather than realizing that they already are all of it right now. So this is the first video in, in, a, in a, a few, it's funny that we still use the word video. This is the first recording or session uh, that I'm going to go through about some of the ways that we create uh, mistakes when we're wanting to manifest. So I still have how many? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine more coming and uh, they'll be released on this channel uh, for you. So please do make sure you subscribe. And, and so if I was going to give you just one piece of advice from the session was yeah. if you want to get in the right structure, it's about arriving now. So have an absolutely amazing day. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. And I hope that you, you grab the next one. Bye for now.